Hey, this is Paul, Paul Component Engineering. We're in the bike shop. Today we're looking at converting an older, uh, pretty significantly old, 70s uh, Schwinn. This is a real nice frame. There's a bazillion older bikes that were made with 27 inch wheels. A lot of them are crap, but a lot of them are really good. Um, and so, and a lot of them are hanging who knows where, but they haven't been ridden in years. Uh, and this has already been converted, so we're going to talk about putting a 700C wheel into a frame designed for a 27-inch wheel and how you can do that with our racer brake. Uh, so this bike came with what's called mid-reach brakes. So the distance from where you mount it to the center of the rim is somewhere between 47 and 57 millimeters. Um, this was before the super short reach came in with the little tiny tires. Uh, and in fact, speaking of tires, this bike does not have a tire on it because we don't have any around. But what we want to do is put a 700C wheel on here. And when we do that, we can get a much bigger tire on, which opens up all kinds of possibilities for fun and adventure. And just in general, resurrecting an old bike. A lot of these are hanging up in, uh, say, your parents' garages. Uh, in this town, there's, they're in the basements of a lot of bike shops. And nobody really knows what to do with them, but they sure are nice. So, we've got a 700C wheel we're going to put on here. And this, I believe, is a 32. And this fits with plenty of room. In fact, you could probably get a fender in there right in here. Lots of room in here. Now because the 700C wheel is a little bit smaller than a 27, you can put in a bigger tire in, into the area there. Now we make a brake called the Racer. And this is a long reach brake. The long reach basically is 57 to 67 millimeters. Uh, this one actually goes down to somewhere closer to 70 on the reach. Got to get this started back here. This bike has been in storage. Everything's a little crusty and rusty. Uh, I put this together many years ago. Now what we have here is a, is a brake that we're up, up at the very top here, um, but it will work. Now one thing about the racer brake is you can buy other brakes where you can do this conversion with really long arms and, and they'll generally pivot up here and then the arm goes way down here and that becomes really flexy and the cheaper you, you go the more flexy they are. With our design, it's an old center pole design, got the pivot here so this distance is very short so there's very little room for flex. We do not stock these colors in green. We stock the moon unit but the, the racer brake we do not stock in green. This was an old concept bike from many years ago. So we got that on there. Got a lot of room in here for a fender. Maybe even go up to a 35 tire. These brakes are going to have a nice feel. Uh, and it's really a nice way to save these old bikes.